is not an instrument that survived into modern times. Unlike the oboe, which was modified throughout the 19th century and turned into our modern day uh, symphonic oboe, or the tenor oboe in F, which became the English horn. The oboe de more is an alto oboe. It's pitched a third lower than the regular oboe. And so when I'm playing in A major, I'm actually fingering in C major. And <laughs> This concerto uh, was actually the first one to be identified as a reworking of a lost first version. And uh, it was uh, the great Albert Schweitzer that pointed out that the right hand of the keyboard uh, really is a very different type of affair from any of Bach's real keyboard works. It's got a small range and it seems to be uh, a transcription. And when he had this uh, insight, uh, there were no modern oboe d'amores. Uh, so for instance, in performances of the St. Matthew Passion, orchestras used clarinets to cover the oboe d'amore parts. And so this served as kind of an impetus for instrument makers to develop a modern uh, symphonic oboe d'amore uh, that didn't have all The oboe d'amore uh, of box time looked just like an oboe, but it's slightly bigger and the bell looks completely different. Instead of being a flared bell like that, it's a round bell. It looks like it's about to lay an egg or something.